All right. Hey, by the way, congratulations Thanks. again. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Um, I just need you to explain a few things to me. I don't understand. No, 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 no. Why well, cat pain? She's just too tall. But come on, find, you're Abby Lee Miller. Find a spot for her. She didn't make it for the first cut. She, she just doesn't fit she, into that team. She looks too why old. Not? Isn't she it dances what you very can mature. Do? I spend tons of money. And you I know, know what? you're a very good customer. I'm not dumbing that. The kid was great. Well, then tell me. I told what her she was great. What is it going to take? You'd have to cut her in half. She's it doesn't puberty. matter. You should find her a spot. Are you bringing these strangers? Those three girls left after you cut her? Wait, the strangers! Well, you don't know what they're like. You don't know what that... Wait, is the one gonna come from Ohio? You have no idea what these people are gonna do for you. Leslie! everything for you. Leslie. What? Calm down. Bull crap. I do everything right. You need to go home and rethink this. Try to sleep on your pillow and think about what you did to me and to Peyton tonight. Leslie. No, Peyton is too old to dance with those little kids. Find her spot, Abby. Find her spot. Find her spot. Find her spot. Solo, do it. Anything. Give her something. Are you putting any little ones in the dance? Your daughter had a really good conversation with me, so Ellie will be in the piece. Next time, I'll have Lily screaming in the corner. OK, A, she was not crying. And I heard Ellie say to you, Mom, just tell me exactly what to say. She said, Mom, just tell me exactly what to say. That is a quote. That is bad. Right. You know yes, what? Is your, this liar. is her real story. You're a liar. She is a liar. That's why I am so upset. You're lying. What are you talking about? You are insane. You are literally insane. Did you or did you not hear your daughter's ages tell me what to say? No, yeah. this liar. is her real story. You're a liar. This is her real Lying story. Lying through her teeth. Gloria, this was not to get in the dance. This was actually to bring closure to what she was feeling. But do you hear how cuckoo for Coco Pebble Pops you sound? They're saying that she said to you, Mom, just tell me what to say. That is not lie. Lorianne. I know you have to go, so thank you for coming, and I apologize for us. Thank you. We'll tomorrow. see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, girls. Tomorrow. Stay in the fun. All right. Oh my. Oh my God. Well, that was a pretty low move. You're a big liar. Really? Such a liar. Mm -hmm. No one believes you. Interesting. I don't believe you, and you, you don't. But everybody else does. That's scary. I feel so sorry for your patience. I'm not really worried about your but assessment I'm you what of me, and I don't deal with dissociative identity disorder in my practice. Oh, wow. Oh, we just got diagnosed. You're just a bitch. At least I'm only one bitch. You're like three bitches, all your different personalities. Oh, wow. <laughs> With all your personalities, I got to call you like bitch one, two, three. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. I am tired of being mocked. This is supposed to be a team. I feel like I'm all alone. I just want my child to dance. And I want some support from people who are supposed to be teammates. I don't want to be here anymore. See, you're over there by yourself. Those two are over there. And they completely shut you out because they're moms. What? They know how to exclude you. Mom? They're bullying you. Mom. You know, she has feelings. Mom, she has feelings. stop. grown woman commitment from Stacy and Yolanda that we are, and I need you to acknowledge each other as well, that we are done. I tried. I apologized when I broke and I really meant it. I'm past it, and I, we keep having to rehash, and I just want to move forward. 
as a result of what happened between Stacy and Yolanda, I was really perplexed and questioning if I wanted to be here. You know what I'm saying? Well, I personally wouldn't want to have what happened between Stacy and myself to affect this, this entire team. Honestly, I would rather leave respectfully than to have this continue where it's gonna affect having you leave. Well, we're not even talking about that anymore because apparently you guys put it to bed. Yolanda, you want to be a part of this and then you say that and it makes us look bad, it makes you look bad. Stop feeling, having everybody feel sorry for you. It's because of like all of this. Like now it's just everybody's come down on you. Yeah, because you said stupid God, everybody's come down on me. Y'all are killing me. You guys pissed me off this week. This is why I'm an emotional wreck. I want to stay committed to the process. But right now, mm -mm. it's too much division, too much separation, too much unanswered questions. I don't know whether or not I continue with this team and with these mothers. Together, I think we did a really good job because everyone was really acting like a doll. So I think we did good. Second place, number 198. How great thou art. Floyd Ward Scott works in North Carolina because they won. Is it good enough for me? No. Is it ever going to be good enough for me? Probably not. Girls, you have to get it together. I said no more sloppy groups. And you know what? Brooke, you're too old to be cute. You're right in the front before the whole side area section looking across at Chloe to see what to do. I was just a little bit nervous that I was on the wrong count. Every once in a while, I would look at, out at Chloe. Nia. You were not even dancing. You didn't even know where you were on stage. If you don't want a group dance, we can just come and do the solos. It'll save a lot of rehearsal time if we don't need a group. Abby comes in and she reams out our girls for being sloppy on stage, and the number wins first place. Back to the drawing board. New number, starting tomorrow. You're the one that wants them to learn a new dance every three days. Everybody else out there, I can guarantee you, have been doing their numbers more than three days. How come I'm the only one that gets aggravated? Because you're the you only know. one that hasn't had a child. No, but I had a mother and a father, and if they looked at me one time, I knew. One look. So I'm telling you right now, it's 4.30 to 9.30, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Plan on it. I'm allowed to say the routine wasn't good. Most parents value my opinion more than the three judges. Whatever, Abby. I was so frustrated. I'm just not the kind of person that's gonna sit back and shut up. No. I don't have to pay on time. I'm Kelly Highland. I've been no. nursing for 30 years. I always paid the whole year yeah. up front. Because I'll show you my Discover card payment that shows for the past 10 years I've paid you're you You're the reason in I don't full. even take Discover anymore. Kelly, go get a job. Oh, don't even go there, you whore. Oh, you are a whore. So welcome, Jill. Sorry. Welcome. Kendall has never experienced that kind of behavior from adults. And I don't know why they let it get to that level. Does that happen, like, all the time? It, it does. Why do they get that heated? Why does it go so I far? I mean, my god, Abby name calling? Never, don't ever trust Kelly or Christy. They'll stab you in the back as quickly as they can. They do it to me all the time. These moms are crazy. If they ever pull that stuff on me, they're gonna see a whole other side of Jill. Chloe's doing her trio and her headpiece is falling off. Oh my God, she can't even see right now.
What's your deal? We need to talk. It came forward! What did you want me to do? You're in the bar having a drink and her headpiece is falling off. Her headpiece didn't fall off, it yes, came it did. forward. Whatever. It didn't fall on the stage. Whatever. She's fine. She's fine? It's my number, it's my it number. It was fine. It was fine, they didn't miss a beat. Winning means a lot to me because it feels really good and it feels like, ooh, yay. I never get tired of winning. Okay, teens, listen up. Starting off in duo trio, a second place, they score 266, goes to money. Abby, mistakes happen, we're human. You are. Mistakes like that don't happen to me. But I'm not gonna have you treat me like this. I'm an adult. Act like one. Get you the act like one. Right. You're screaming at me in front of all these people. You screwed up. If you're gonna come on the trip, she's yours. Yeah, stay out of the bar, stay in the dressing room. When she goes on stage, the headpiece is sewed in the head. Do you understand? Next time, have it right. Yeah. I'm not gonna put up with it. So remember, things. I pay your bills. You work for me. I pay you to teach my daughter dancing. I'm not gonna have you treat me like this. Our mini overall high score duo trio with a score up to 82 out of a 300. First place goes to Abby Lee Dance Company Pinup Girls. We won first place with our trio, and that means we were the best. <laughs> It'll never happen again. It better not. This That's conversation right. is over. I'm done. And you pay your bill late, by the I way. I do not pay my yes, bills late. We'll yes, talk. Christy is going to be the death of me. That woman is going to cause her child to be expelled from my studio. I don't know how much longer I can put up with Abby. I don't care if Chloe ever dances again. I can't put up with this woman anymore. I was in that pyramid. I'm the adult. Nia has no control over me, and there was no need for Abby to be harsh or to take it out on Nia because I wasn't present for a pyramid. Here you are. Yes. Just checking in to see if everything's OK between us, because it doesn't sound like no. it is. The parents were required to be here today. Here, I think moms who don't work probably have a more flexible schedule. But you know that I work, so I, I cannot. If you cared and you want to speak your opinion, you be here at the meetings. I can't believe this is starting already again. Abby, let's not go there once again. You need to be here. I feel right now that I care more about Nia's success than you do. No, well, your you're... husband was here. He walked right in well, the door. Why didn't he stay? Abby, if you My dad even took me to the mother-daughter talk about getting your period. My dad took me because my mother was at work. Oh my god, she's talking about a period. <laughs> what the hell does that have to do with anything? Figure it out, because you know what? Abby, the kid needs somebody. Was I? She's not that swift. How dare you? She's how, not. How dare you? She needs you? help. She needs you to be here. Oh, Abby. She needs people to take notes. Abby. <gasps> You, you think you're up nothing? here because you have a doctorate and everybody else is That's down here. That's your problem, Abby. You are intimidated by me because I Bull. do have a doctorate. Bull. Oh, Abby, don't be ignorant. Please. That's it. No. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Gifts. Oh. Whoa. Who is it's that for? It's for Sarah. Oh, my God. It's for you. Sarah? Did you send no. Sarah flowers? OK, don't be stupid. Stop. Ignore it. Open it. It's not for me. It's for Sarah. Is there a card? Is there a card, Michelle? Abby took it and ripped it up. Oh. oh. I think that's a federal offense. Touch someone else's <laughs> mail. Abby obviously knows who sent this gift, but she doesn't want us to know who it's from. But we just had a big win, and that's what she should be focusing on. Somebody sent it, it was sitting in your thing. Just we'll deal with it later, okay? Yay! Pick it up and move it. I don't know. It was on your thing when I came in, but I'm not sure. Congratulations, Good everyone. Time. Sarah, you didn't place. You're representing the Abbey and Dance Company. So you should never, ever, ever go to a competition and not be in the top five. We're leaving for the day. Can you help me with my stuff? I can. It's back here. These are beautiful. Michelle, I have no idea yet what your status on this team is. Your behavior today was fine. I would like to see you smile and stand up straight and tall. You're like a 90-year-old haggard woman. Toodles! The sweat, the sweat. It's a sweatshirt? What is what it? What does it say? Tap Studio 19. That's what it is. 
It's okay. It's okay. It's just a black onesie, guys. Have you heard from them? No, I haven't talked to anybody. So why would they be sending you gifts and flowers and balloons and... Did you contact them when you thought maybe you weren't going to be allowed to stay on this team? No. Would you go back there if Abby no. doesn't let you back in the studio? Uh -huh. Find another studio. I would, I would not go back there. But I saw actually you were hugging. I actually saw like there was a hug. I don't know who it was, but it was a Studio 19 mom. You were like hugging her. I talked to her at the competition. Why don't you guys, all the kids leave? This whole situation is really pissing me off. We've done nothing but stand up for Michelle. And now, she just seems like she's being super sketchy and looks like she's hiding something. So Am I hearing that they don't want me? Is that, what they're, is that what you're hearing? I don't, I don't think that's what I think that's what they're saying. Why are we having a sidebar conversation? She's, she's wondering whether or not you guys want her on the team. You have a lot of balls, then, if that's what you're saying, because every one of us put our necks on the line and our children for you and your daughter last week to stay on this team. And now, like, you're questioning our loyalty to you and whether we want you on you're the team. You're questioning if I'm reaching out That's to ridiculous. another team. That's ridiculous. You're questioning That's ridiculous. if you're I'm reaching out. You're flowers and everything else. You're questioning if I reach Whatever, out Michelle. to another team. Whatever. You know what? Seriously? Look. <gasps> Keep your onesie.